Yo, what up, King fans? Yo, I'm geeked, man. We gonna beat the fuck out of um, Florida, man. We played them, so I'm just scanning through Gator Tears. Shout out to RVA and all the others that hold it down in Gator Tears and No Tears. Hey, man, it's on King's Insight. Y'all know what it is. But I was bugging out because I'm like, bro, look at this dude. Billy Napier taking credit for Ricky Pierce going the first round when the dude was already good when he got there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he put up the same numbers from undrafted to the first round. Oh, come on, man. Stop playing. Look at these dudes. From undrafted to first rounder under the guidance of Napier. Get used to this story. The young boys are growing. Pause. Ricky was, oh, here we go with facts from Jay Holmes. Ricky was already good, but I sure love watching half the draftees using Florida as their highlight tape. <laughs> oh, God, it's amazing. Development from undrafted. You know, original Kane always speaking the facts. If you look at Arizona State, he was doing the same shit. Arizona State had 48 receptions and 580 yards. I think Xavier Strepo had more yards than FSU's whole damn entire core. And Florida's whole core of receivers. But somehow Miami don't develop. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. They they be they be tripping, bro. And they lost out on some dude too. That shit. Yo, we gonna beat the fuck out these dudes, bro. They have no idea. They losing dudes. <laughs> they losing dudes to Indiana, bro. <laughs> what? Florida eliminated. That's what it is. So these dudes, they tight, man. We got a game with these cats. We going to beat the brakes off these dudes, send them back to the Stone Age, get Billy Napier hired or extended or some shit. Hopefully they extend him. And he, I think he needs more time. To be honest, I think he needs more time. I'm not even going to cap. Like, I think he's a good coach. He's a good coach. He needs more time, though. You know what I'm saying? So. And um, FSU, bro, them dudes was kind of shook. No cap. When we started getting them transfers hitting on Sunday, bro, look at these dudes. I agree, but they are doing a good job in the portal, much better than we are. They are finding starters who are good players, potential NFL players. They also got a better QB in the portal. Mario still has to coach the games, though. That shit's so overrated, bro. You put these dudes on the field, bro. They got I'm gonna yo, that myth gonna be destroyed this year. That myth is gonna be destroyed. That oh yeah, he can't coach, he can't win. Bro, they said the same shit about Kirby, bro. The same thing, bro. And dude was bringing in monster classes. Monster classes. And just because he couldn't beat Bama, they're like, oh, yeah, he can't coach. Nigga, you know how good Bama is, bro? Like, they, they're rostered as good as, better than Georgia most of the time. So, Georgia caught up. Like, I, and then Georgia started beating them. All of a sudden, oh, yeah, he, they, you don't hear about anything about his coaching anymore. Hey, yo, that shit fucking, that shit gets me mad when I read that stupid shit all the time, bro. Every fucking time you read that stupid shit, every time. Or half the delusional fan base will realize it's hard to win against a team that out talent you. Yesterday is over. Those draft players are gone. Miami is loading up and dominating us and others in the portal, my opinion. Taking Novell Strat. Boy, if you don't get... The reason, man, how you gonna how are we taking Novell strategy, bro? Like, if there's good players in the portal, we're going after them. The reason dudes like um, Kiffin and them cats and Novell... You, the reason they got to go in the portal heavy, bro, is because they're not good evaluators of fucking talent, like, especially on the D-line. So they got to see who's good in college, and then when those kids at the portal, they go after them. They can't fucking spot talent from high school by a mile, bro. That's why they got to use the fucking portal. They can't spot talent. Everybody has misses, but when you miss, like, the rate that they miss, bro, like, you got to go in the fucking portal. We, like, Mario miss, Saban misses, Kirby misses, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get dudes that are five stars that when they hit the field in practice, they not that good. And you're going to be like, oh, shit, and they just wind up transferring, you know what I'm saying? And then the other team that gets the transfer like, oh, yeah, we got a stud. Fuck out of here, you don't got no damn stud. Most of the time, it's a jag. Like, let's, let's keep it 100. Them boys shook. They shook, bro. Them motherfuckers, they scared, bro. Florida State knows, like, the real fans that, like, logical, that, you know what I'm saying, they ain't, like, blinded by their team and shit. They know what's coming, bro. Pause. They know. And uh, Jared Harrison Hunt commits to SMU, bro. I'm like, it's whatever, bro. I don't give a fuck, to be honest, bro. Like, I'm really excited to see uh, Artavius Jones. Like, that's the dude I'm excited to see. When he gets there in the summer, bro, that's the dude. I know everybody talking about Justin Scott, Space Eater, and all that. But telling you, bro, 
Octavia's film looking like Jalen Carter. He over there ragdolling people, throwing people in the stands and shit. <laughs> that ass. That ass, yo. I think he like killed like three people before he finished his high school career. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. But um, I think FSU was recruiting um Harrison Hunt and he went to um SMU, dog. Like he was like, fuck that. And um, SMU, man, that's like, to me, I look at that as like UCF. Like, they not even, they not there yet. They not going to be there. They'll be a decent team because they got Lashley, but they not there, bro. I do want Harmon, though. Derek Harmon. I heard he's not visiting, so I don't know, man. But that's the defensive tackle that I want, you know what I'm saying? But I'm excited for Scott and Jones, so it's like, it's whatever, you know what I mean? He said, feels SMU preps him. Man, let's read this bogus shit. Feels SMU preps him better for the NFL than Miami. Man, shut your bitch ass. Like, what's he talking about, bro? Like, what's he talking about, bro? That myth, bro? You telling me You telling me Cam Ward has a monster season? You know Miami's not going to get no credit. Miami's not going to get... If, if Cam Ward has a dominant season and throws for like 3,500 yards and 30 TDs, they're not going to give this coach, the coaching staff credit. They already, they already, the whole nation and other fans have been labeled that uh, Mario can't develop. So what happens when Cam Ward does well? Oh, nah, he was already good. Only for us. It's only for us. But for no, everybody else is, oh yeah, they developed him. Man, fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. That shit, that shit, man. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Ain't nobody trying to hear these FSU and Florida fans, bro. We run this state. What y'all talking about, bro? Y'all were just winning because we, we had a lot of Manny dudes and Jags and our coach, Mario's not going to go to press conference and be like, yo, this nigga suck. Like, he not going to say that. He going to say good things because that's how he is. Ain't no coach going to be like, yo, this dude sucks. So you got to you gotta look for yourself and be like, all right, this dude ain't good. You have to see it for yourself because the coach ain't going to say it. They always going to say, yo, we had a good spring. We had a good, great summer camp. The guy's running through the gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? They always gonna say that stupid shit, bro. And you can't listen to that. Like every team, every fan base right now, the power five thinks they're gonna go to the playoffs. Like every fan base that really don't even look at shit, bro. They just be like, oh yeah, that guy's a great player. Like everybody's good to them, bro. It's like, fuck out of here. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. It's crazy to me, man. Like we we never get none of the credit, bro. Like when we develop dude. So what happened with Ruben Bain? We didn't develop him. Nah, we ain't developed him. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I'm in the opinion of yo, Ruben Bain was already fucking good. Like saving, saving backed up the Brinks truck to get him, bro. Need money hanging with me. Oh, uh, really? Money on my head. That yeah. mean money on my mind. Oh. Bro, he sent everybody, his whole family, to his house. Like that ass. I think he, I think Ruben Bain was there for like one of his grandkids' births or some shit. Like for real. Like that. That's how hard they were crewing. And when saving or Kirby Smart, if they recruiting you heavy, bro, or hardline and shit, you go after that kid. I don't give a fuck what the star rating system says. So, I'm excited. We're going to beat the brakes off these dudes, yo. Florida going to get fucked up, bro. If we don't beat the shit out of these dudes, bro, I'll be tight. There's no fucking way that that team should beat us, bro. And that's all I got, man. I don't know, bro. I'm just, I'm super geeked, man. This shit going to be. It's all about you, y'all know, man.